Welcome to Vora Motors. Today we'll be showing you how to bleed hydraulic brakes on any electric scooter. For this example, we'll be bleeding the rear brake on the Cobble Wolf Warrior XGT, but note that this process will also apply to the front brake as well. For these tasks, you'll need a 3, 4, and 5 millimeter hex key, a T20 star piece hex key, a towel, two syringes, brake pad block, brake fluid, and a brake bleed kit. To begin, remove the rear caliper with a 5mm hex key. Using a 3mm hex key, remove the tiny screw on the brake caliper. Be sure to have a towel ready and clean up any brake fluid. Next, find the appropriate nozzle that screws into the hole. In this case, we use the 3mm size nozzle. Insert the block in between the brake pads. Then screw the nozzle into the syringe and fill it up with brake fluid. Get rid of any bubbles by pressing on the syringe. Screw the syringe into the brake caliper and let it hang out in a comfortable position while we move to the top of the scooter. Loosen the brake lever with a 4mm hex key so you can adjust it to a level position just so it lays flat. With a T20 star piece hex key, remove the tiny screw in the lever and make sure not to lose the O-ring, which will be placed on the end of the second syringe. Fill your syringe with brake fluid and remove the tiny bubbles by pressing on it. Now screw it onto the brake lever by hand. Push on the lever syringe until it's empty. This will cause bubbles to come out the caliper side. Then push on the caliper syringe until it's empty. Repeat this process of going back and forth between syringes until the bubbles are gone. Pinch the valve on the lever syringe so the excess brake fluid no longer flows back into the brake line. Unscrew the caliper syringe and quickly screw the tiny screw back in place with a 3mm hex key. Then clean up any excess brake fluid. Remove the block and screw in the brake caliper with a 5mm hex key. Unscrew the lever syringe. Remove the O-ring and put it back on the little screw so you can screw it back in with your T20 star piece. Now you can go ahead and test the rear brake. The lever should feel tight and stop about halfway before hitting the handlebar grip. If you hear a rubbing noise, realign the caliper with the rotor. And that's it! Your hydraulic brakes are bled so you can now stop on a dime. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact our customer support team at forumotors.com. Have any tutorials you'd like to see? Make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Until then, safe riding.